First one, knowing your strengths and making sure that the program that you're following allows your strengths to be on show week after week. Okay, so too often we'll focus on our weaknesses uh, and that has merit as Australian rules football does require you to be fit, it requires you to be fast, it requires you to be strong, uh, it requires you to be mobile uh, and you need to be coordinated and, and you need to be able to put all these together and, and in your position over four quarters. So it's easy to think about your de deficiencies. However, by focusing on your strengths, that's what's going to help you play at the highest level and also reach your goals, whether that be get drafted, play in the senior team, um, whatever, or play your, your best game. So focus on your strengths, put majority of your energy in your weekly routine on your strengths and make sure the strength and conditioning program that you're following uh, maximizes your development from your strengths. In terms of consistency and why it pays dividends, majority of the of footballers going in, into in-season, their strength and conditioning program focuses too heavily on recovery and feeling good and you rely heavily on the preseason is where you put in the work. And then as soon as the in-season comes around, the mindset shifts towards an overemphasis on recovery. Recovery is definitely important. However, if you want to maximize your development and make sure that week after week you're getting better, you still need to have a growth mindset and you still need to be putting in the work. And you can do that intelligently. That's not going to hinder your week-to-week -week performance, but more importantly, ensures that you're going to be where you want to be in two, three, four, five years' time. Okay, so big picture in mind, consistency is key. It doesn't mean you're going to um, be peeing, PBing every time you're in the gym, um, but the key is that you're continually putting in the work, continually focus on where you want to get better and, what, and make sure that the program that you're following ensures that you're going to do that. Tip number three, make sure you're following a program from an experienced strength and conditioning coach. Ideally, they know uh, football as well so they can understand the game and the demands of the game um, rather than following a personal trainer. I've actually written a blog on our website about this. So if you want more information, maybe you're a parent listening to the podcast. Um, I've, yeah, if you check out Prepare Like a Pro and go to our blog page, you'll be able to find uh, in detail why I'm strong on um youth athletes or any footballer following going by following the advice of a strength and conditioning coach not a personal trainer so find out more information from there but that's tip number three tip number four and this is a really important one probably underestimated but make sure you're enjoying the process having fun connecting with your teammates and not sweating the small things so it's probably more to do with why you started the game and keeping keeping that uh, front of mind. So for a lot of you, it would have been because you, you love the game. It's a lot of fun. And for and for others, it might be just simply the connection piece with your family and your friends. So keep that front of mind, stay connected to, to those values and make sure that you're bringing that to the, to the process. Because as we know, it's a long competitive season. It's a long pre-season. So it's a long slog. So if you're not enjoying it, it's not going to be sustainable uh, and, and you're probably not going to get the most out of yourself. So make sure that you're enjoying the process, whatever that means to you. It might be just cracking some gags in the in the warm up. It might be um, making sure that you're um, doing your your weight training program with a mate. Whatever it is, create ways and strategies to make sure that you're having fun and, and you're enjoying the process. So that's tip number four. And then last tip number five, and I mentioned this earlier, bring intent to everything that you do. Um, from a strength thing and power point of view make sure you're really clear with the purpose and that's why I've, I've created a lot of videos on our program i've done a lot of presentations in our academy so everyone following our online program is really clear on what what we're doing and why we're doing it so all the athlete needs to focus on is their intent i if you're lifting a heavy weight and you're working on your strength in the contest we want to make sure that you're getting aggressive in those lifts if you're focusing on speed you want to make sure that you get, you're getting good rhythm with your run-throughs uh, and you know the technical things that you need to focus on, whether that be your um, keeping your feet from above, stiff ankles, whether it be um, rhythm with your, um, with your legs and your arms, whatever your technical focuses are, you've, you've got them in front of mind. 